Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X, the Poco F3 and the Redmi K40. Now today we are talking about Xiaomi.eu stable. The version is 12.5.14. This of course is based on the China stable and this update is very very similar to the 12.5.5 enhanced edition that we received in India. Now I've been using it since the last 24 to 48 hours. In fact, I'm using it since the last 24 hours since yesterday. And I was out for the weekend as always. And I did try a bunch of things, including the camera, the UI, the smoothness, the benchmarks, some gaming and stuff like that. So that definitely calls for a review because this is my primary device these days. So before we get into the full review, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so right off the bat, what do we have here? 12.5, 12.5.14 stable is what they're saying. And if you click over here and select what's new, remember this is Xiaomi.eu. So general optimizations, fixes, and latest translation updates. That's all it says in the change log over there. Nothing much is mentioned. So if you actually go to settings over here and you go to my device and you go to all specifications, you will see that it comes with the August security patch, which is really, really weird considering Xiaomi.eu updates are based on the Chinese beta or Chinese stable. They should have received the September security patch by now because we are almost towards the end of September. But nonetheless, old security patch doesn't really, you know, make a big difference because in Xiaomi.eu, you do have the new power menu, a lot of updated system apps and a lot of wonderful things. So one by one, let's go ahead and quickly have a look at it. So first of all, let's talk about the theme store. Now this theme store looks brand new. You do have some stuff in Chinese because of course, Xiaomi.eu is based on the Chinese stable. And if you see over here, you have dynamic wallpapers and a ton of other things. But if you actually go to my account and you go to wallpapers, favorites, likes, you have a lot of options over here, as you can see. So if you go to the main screen, press and hold over here or pinch, you will see that you have the MIUI 13 launcher. We'll talk about that in a bit, but let's talk about super wallpapers. So if you click on more to super wallpapers here, you will see you now have a new super wallpaper, which is based on the real time weather. Now that is something I've seen in the past, like something similar I've seen in the past on HTC devices back in the day. Now, the moment you lock the device, you will see that you get this very beautiful always on display. You double tap on it. You get your wallpaper that you've set for the lock screen. And then your home screen is also highly dependent on the type of weather that is there in your area or in your city or whatever you want to call it. As you can see, it's cloudy over here. So if you lock over here, this looks really, really neat. So something neat added to this particular update over here. Now moving on in the control center, you do have data usage, which works perfectly fine. So that is neat. And you have your good old swipe to check notification stuff working like a charm. You can edit your quick tiles from here. You do have a ton of options. At the same time, if you actually talk about the screen recorder over here, it is updated with some changes here and there. You do get up to 60 FPS and your bitrate can go all the way to 105 Mbps. Now, if you talk about the sound source, you either have mic or you have system sounds. So no problems there whatsoever, but you still don't really have the internal and external audio features at all. Now, another thing that is updated right now is the MI video application. So I know this is banned in India, but have a look at it. As you can see over here, you have YouTube subscriptions trending. You have the option to download from a bunch of social media platforms and stuff. So this video application is updated along with a new dark mode. So that looks really, really neat as well. So as I said, you know, for Chinese ROMs, a lot of applications do get updated. 
At the same time, the thing that has changed in this particular update is the app icon animations. Now, they seem very, very subtle, very, very smooth, and I really, really like the way the animations are coming and going really, really smooth. So, no stutters whatsoever. So, if you actually have a look at these animations, they are really, really smooth, really, really subtle, and they work really, really well. So finally, you know, as we are moving towards MIUI 13, it really looks like Xiaomi is getting that balance of animations and smoothness. So that's something really, really neat. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the launcher over here. The moment you pinch to zoom in, you will see that there is this sort of new animation, which is fluid, very, very smooth. And if you go to the launcher settings, you do have all the, you know, options which were available earlier. You don't really have a new feature or new option over here. Even if you go to the recents over here, you will see that more or less the recents are just like they were earlier, but they seem a lot smoother. For example, let's let's actually go to a particular application. For example, the camera over here, as you can see, the Android 10 gestures are butter smooth and they work really, really well. And I really like that. Now, this is what we are talking about when you talk about the enhanced edition, because this is the level of smoothness I would expect from a device which is running the Snapdragon 870. Now, you also have the latest file manager which supposedly will come with MIUI 13. So, really, really good smooth file operation there and see how quick and fluid the system is. This is basically the just the right balance that you would need to get a phone like the Mi 11X working absolutely fine. At the same time, if we talk about the RAM management, you do see that you have two gigabytes of six gigabytes available. That's after opening a lot of applications. As you can see over here, I do have a ton of applications. I do have a couple of games open, although they might close in the memory, but they are working really, really well. And that brings me to the topic of memory extension. There you go. The memory extension feature is now available in this table update and it works really, really well as well. So overall, as far as the feature set is concerned, as far as the look and feel of the ROM is concerned, you will not find any major additions or major changes. As Xiaomi said, the enhanced edition will have better user experience, not newer or better features. And they are sort of delivering on that. We will now talk about the benchmark numbers and my experience with the speed of the internet, the calling, the battery life, the charging. So let's go ahead and talk about those as aspects. The first thing that we'll look at is the benchmark numbers and that is CPU throttle test. All right. Now I did all the benchmarks with Game Turbo enabled for these applications. And you do see that the average score was 213.021. That's an excellent score for a stock ROM. At least Xiaomi.eu is based on MIUI very closely. So I do consider this as almost stock. And you have throttling up to 94%. So nothing to worry there. Next up, we have Geekbench. So Geekbench, we got a very strong score as well. And that is really, really impressive. Let's see over here, 976 single core, 3,295 multi-core. And then we have Antutu benchmark. So let's have a look at the Antutu score as well. 671,743. And these are the individual numbers. Even if you talk about the temperature, the battery drop, everything has been doing pretty great in this particular ROM. So a very, very fluid and smooth experience. Unfortunately, in the camera section, you don't really have any additional features. All the features that were shipped with this particular device are still present and they work just fine. This ROM comes with the MIUI dialer. So you do have the built-in call recording without any prompt. There you go. So call recording works just fine and MIUI dialer is included. So as far as the call quality is concerned, the network reception is concerned, LTE or LTE plus is concerned. I didn't really have any problem. Although I did have problems with 2.4 gigahertz of Wi-Fi, wherein the speeds, the download speeds were considerably low and that is slightly disappointing. It might be a temporary bug on Xiaomi.eu side or MIUI side. I don't really know. But yes, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, sort of not that great. 5 gigahertz is something I use most of the time and it is working absolutely fine for me. At the same time, as you can see over here, it does have carrier aggregation. So LTE plus and that works really, really well. So as far as call connectivity, network, internet speeds, Wi-Fi is concerned, everything working great. The benchmark numbers look really, really strong and solid. Now let's talk about the battery backup over here real quick. 
So if you actually go to battery over here, you will see that I have been on battery for 12 hours and 30 minutes. The screen on has been around three hours and we are still at around 32%. So we will at least have four or five hours of screen on time, which I know is not great, but understand we've throttled the processor. We have done a lot of benchmarks. We've put it through the paces and this is the first charge cycle. So more or less, it will give you better battery performance. And I did game on this as well. So as far as the gaming is concerned, I did not try the 90 FPS, the 60 FPS gaming in Call of Duty Mobile and Battlegrounds Mobile India has been really, really great. So all in all, if you have an unlocked bootloader on a Mi 11X, a Poco F3 or the Redmi K40 and you want to flash a stable OS on your phone and you don't really use 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, flash this particular version just like you would flash any other ROM, use it for a day, you would love it. Wideband L1 is fine. Your Play Store certification is taken care of, so you don't really have any issues with your banking applications, as you can see. So all in all, this is definitely a daily driver, comes with some tweaks and sort of new upcoming MIA 13 features. It does come with very, very good haptic feedback and all the stock default MIUI 13 features, which work really, really well. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this review? Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.